Now we all know that the Super Mario titles and its many spin-off games are all about the gameplay and not really the story. It's just not the main focus of Nintendo. In general, they don't really care about it. However, they do introduce some interesting things at times to get the games going. And one of those was the magic paintbrush from Super Mario Sunshine, which has some weird powers. However, there are two things I have always wondered. How was this thing even made? And why did Bowser Jr. get it? Well, today we will find out. Because after 18 years of not looking into this, it's about time to figure out what actually happened. Now in Super Mario Sunshine, Bowser Jr. starts using the brush to cause trouble. Which you notice as soon as you land. Luckily enough, you find Flood at the Delfino airstrip in the beginning of the game, and it says, Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Inc which is quite odd. Now later on in the game when you finally confront Bowser Jr. he says he got this magic paintbrush from a strange old man in a white coat. And he also claims that Egat gave the brush to him on his own free will. And that he didn't know the professor's name when he received the brush. But we don't know if this is actually true. Now there's a symbol on both the magic paintbrush and Flood, showing a face and hairstyle similar to Egad's, which seems to be the Gad Science Inc. logo. It appears on many of Egad's other inventions as well as the boxes for Flood's nozzle upgrades. And this is the only mainline Mario game where he is referenced in any way. So again, all of this is very, very odd. Now in the end he uses the paintbrush to frame Mario and distract him along enough so he can kidnap Princess Peach causing chaos across the whole island by creating paint piranha plants, stealing shine sprites, and covering everything in paint. Now in the end we defeat him of course, clearing Mario's name. However, we don't know what happened to the brush. All we see is that after the final battle it ends up on the island near Gelato Beach, where it's discovered by El Pantissimo. But by the looks of it, Bowser Jr. got his hands on it again, since we see it in a lot of other spin-off games being used by him. Or he bought a new one. But why did Egad even give this powerful invention to him? Well, let's look into what he does for a possible answer. This mad scientist usually makes all kinds of items to help either Mario or Luigi in their adventures, especially in the Luigi's Mansion and Mario and Luigi games. And he apparently runs a company that sells some of those things, as mentioned by Flood. Besides Egad, the only individuals known to work here are his five toad assistants that appear in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. He even has a workshop called Egad. Gad's Garage, which is a board in Mario Party 6, where he stores the countless creations he made. And weirdly enough, he also has a side business of running a beverage shop in the Bean Bean Kingdom, called the Star Beans Cafe. So clearly almost anyone can contact him and get some cool gadgets if they're able to pay for it at least. I mean, it makes sense why he does this. He needs to expand after all, buying new materials and tools and more stuff. So it's quite a good idea of him to sell some of his inventions in order to pay for stuff he would need to make more awesome things. And of course, he also has to pay for his house, food, and other stuff. So I guess he does it for that reason as well. However, while this explains why he sells his inventions and how they end up in the world just like Flood does in Super Mario Sunshine, there's one problem. We still don't know why he gave the magic paintbrush to Bowser Jr., if he did at least. We aren't sure after all. And we also don't know how he even made the thing. These two points are by far the biggest mysteries in Super Mario Sunshine. The game barely gives any information on all of this after all. And this invention is also quite strange to be honest. It can be used to cover something in graffiti, which even spawns hostile creatures like the blobs and piranha plants we see in the game. But it doesn't end there. It can also be used to disguise yourself like Bowser Jr. does when he becomes Shadow Mario. The paint can even take on elemental properties to damage you on contact, which is also weird. What is it good for? How did Egad ever make this and then give it to a villain or at least an unknown person like Bowser Jr.? Well, after thinking about it for a very long time, I've come up with one reasonably good explanation of what could have happened here. Now, first of all, the magic that powers this brush could be from any super for Mario game to be honest. I found out that another YouTuber I know personally and highly recommend has already done a video on this as well. I'm talking about Swanky Box. And after he looked into it, he came to the conclusion that it could have something to do with Vincent Van Gogh and the painting seen in Luigi's Mansion. But he also mentioned a possible connection to Subcon, the world from Super Mario Bros. 2 
and some other things like the paintings from Super Mario 64. Clearly special worlds, magical powers and even magical paint is seen everywhere in the series. So, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, magic paint is seen in a lot of Super Mario titles. So, to remain original and interesting, we will not talk about any of the things he mentioned. Instead, we will look at another option, and then we can discuss why he gave it to Bowser Jr. Now, one other option I have thought of is something that we have seen in one of the most hated Mario games ever made by Nintendo. Paper Mario Color Splash. Here we see the big paint stars, which are the source of color that appear in the game, and are housed at Prisma Fountain. There are six of them in the game, each one being a different color, and in the adventure you need to collect these. Now it could be that stars similar to these were used by Iga to power this new magic paintbrush, although we can't be sure of this. And that's mostly because it ain't exactly the same as what we see in Color Splash. But if this brush uses all the colors, it could make more sense. And that's because of the black paint seen in Color Splash, which is created when all of the six normal colors of paint are mixed together. This ended up corrupting Bowser in the game, but it could make the magic paintbrush more powerful and allow it to paint with all those different colors and effects. It could even be that it's able to spawn the enemies we see in Super Mario Sunshine, although we can't be certain of this. We never really see Bowser, who was taken over by the black paint, summon anything or paint the world like his son does in Super Mario Sunshine. But it's an option since they do have paint and color powers. So it could be that Iga traveled there in order to get new and powerful artifacts to build all kinds of new inventions with. There's more than enough to find there after all. And the Paper Mario universe is nowhere near as dangerous as the ghosts that he fights with on a daily basis. So I bet it wouldn't be a problem for him. Now you might say, how does Egad even get there and obtain powerful artifacts like that? He can't go to the Paper Mario world? Well, when it comes to this, you are wrong. And that's because there is a portal to the Paper World in the normal Super Mario world, which we see during the introduction of Mario & Luigi Paper Jam. So it could be that Egad went to the Paper World to see what he could find there. However, while that's an interesting option, there's still another thing we need to think about. Why did he give this powerful item to Bowser Jr? Well, it could be that this invention of his was very experimental. So he had to find someone who was willing to test it. And in the end, this person was Bowser Jr. And Egad, without thinking about it, just went with it and gave it to him. This wouldn't be the first time he tested experimental stuff in dangerous ways. He did this with the pixelator from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon as well. He even says the following to Luigi. You ready, son? I'll zap you to the gloomy manor with my new and larger untested pixelator. Let's hope all of the pixels make it this time. Hehe. <laughs> But while this was quite a dumb and risky move of him, he did prepare for a scenario where it all went wrong. Because he ended up building a robot that was made to defeat any person using a magic paintbrush. I'm talking about Flood of course. It could even be that he made it after he noticed what Bowser Jr. was doing. But regardless of that, it's there to help. So this is one option. He wanted to test a dangerous product and needed a volunteer. And wasn't being picky about it. But it could also be that he never cared, and just sells these brushes in his store, meaning that anyone can buy them. And what are they used for? Well, painting your house or anything else, of course. It even includes paint creatures who do it for you. It could even be that some of these creatures are some sort of ghosts. He can control those after all, like we see in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And all of this would also explain how Bowser Jr. got his hands on a new one after the events of Super Mario Sunshine. It was out on the beach, remember? If this was the only one, it would be quite tricky to get it again. But if they are a mass-produced invention of EGAD, then he can just go to his store and pick up another one to play tennis with, for example. However, there's also a third option. EGAD never gave it to Bowser Jr. and he just stole it. We all know that Bowser Jr. is a bad guy and doesn't care about what others think. Thing. And so he just stole this experimental invention, attacked Isle Delfino, and lied to Mario about everything. I mean, he already lies to the Piantas and frames Mario for a bunch of crimes. I don't think he really cares about honesty. Now these are my explanations for what could have happened, but I don't know everything of course. So let me know in the comments what you think. And also, sorry to everyone who hates Color Splash, I, I, I know it's a bad game, but I had to mention it. I had to mention how it could have played a role in all of this. I know it brought back haunting memories, but you can rest easy now. The game will never be relevant again, I promise. So, 
Shh, shh, shh. Everything is okay now.